Well, the World Health Organization is calling for a moratorium on COVID-19 vaccine boosters until at least the end of September. WHO's head, Tedros Ghebreyesus, says the move will enable at least 10% of the population in every country to get vaccinated. Tedros has also raised concern on poorer nations not being able to vaccinate their people, despite accounting for more than half of the world's population. I understand the concern of all governments to protect their people from the Delta variant. But we cannot and we should not accept countries that have already used most of the global supply of vaccines, using even more of it, while the world's most vulnerable people remain unprotected, even while hundreds of millions of people are still waiting for their first dose. Some rich countries are moving towards booster doses. So far, more than 4 billion vaccine doses have been administered globally. More than 80 percent have gone to high and upper middle income countries, even though they account for less than half of the world's population. Meanwhile, the United States has rejected WHO's appeal for a moratorium on administering COVID-19 vaccine booster shots. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says the United States has sufficient supply to continue distributing shots abroad while also ensuring that every American can be fully vaccinated. We believe we can do both. We also, in this country, have enough supply to ensure that every American has access to a vaccine. We will have enough supply to ensure if the FDA decides that boosters are recommended for a portion of the population to provide those as well. We believe we can do both and we don't need to make that choice. We're now joined by Dr. Bharat Pakanya, a senior clinical lecturer at the University of Exeter Medical School in Bath in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. What can you tell us about the vaccine booster doses and why they are being used? Looks like the United States, Europe have got the supplies of the vaccines and they justify its use because they've been able to buy such large numbers of vaccines. And there isn't a clear cut evidence that boosters are needed, but nevertheless, the booster program is being implemented. I'm not saying it's wrong. All I'm saying is that are they really needed compared to uh, immunizing the rest of the world where they are desperately needed? Doctor, why do you think, we've, we've talked about it a little bit in our previous report, but why do you think the WHO is asking the West to stop administering the booster th shots? Because because we are not well until everyone else is well too. This is a global pandemic. And for Europe and the United States to race ahead with continuing to look after its population at no regard for Africa, Asia, South America is a failing. Uh, remember, there is little evidence that boosters are needed, but there is a lot of evidence that the primary cause of vaccines is desperately needed in Africa, South America and Asia. And it would be much better to say, with regard to the extra vaccines that we have bought, we are going to donate them to the other countries. And on top of that, wake up and allow other parts of the world to also manufacture the vaccines which Europe and Australia have also been opposing. Doctor, how do you foresee this vaccine booster campaign impacting vaccination across the African continent? Well, the unfortunate realization is that uh, whilst Europe and United States are protecting and then extra protecting their population, uh, the countries of Africa have been left to spend for themselves, which is a tragedy, because it also exemplifies that the World Health Organization could be a lot stronger, a lot more robust and better supported by the richer nations. It is very clear to see that the WHO is not fully supported by the very rich high technology nations, because otherwise they would be doing the immunization in other parts of the world instead of boosting when it is not necessarily needed. Thank you so much for joining us on the program, Dr. Pakanya, Dr. Bharat Pakanya, Senior Clinical Lecturer at the University of Exeter Medical School in Bath, the UK.